six or seven, I was molested by my brother. Children's services came and um, didn't do nothing. I couldn't take it. I started running away. And I'd go to juvenile halls and they would ask me where I lived and I would tell them I was an orphan. And I didn't want to go home. I ran away, met up with some guy. He asked me if I had ever got high and he commenced to shin me up with um, methamphetamines. Got arrested a few times. Met my husband and he was moving in. We've gone through ups and downs, me in and out of jail, me taking off and disappearing because that was my normal. He took care of our two little ones. I ended up going to prison in 2000 and shortly after my daughter was born, 2001, 2002 and did two years. When I got out to parole, well, the last time I went in to report, he says, You're, there's something different. And I kind of wanted to laugh because I was sober. <laughs> okay, well, my oldest son was in and out of prison. And, um, and we finally got him up here. So he wasn't homeless. I went to his parole office with him and they were having a workshop. And legal services gave me this form to fill out and to take back to get my criminal record and everything. And at the courthouse, they gave me a call, set me up with a lawyer, and I've told my story to the lawyer. I tell you, I am just in awe that God is doing this for me, you know, because it's like to be able to say, okay, though bad things have happened, there's always a silver lining somewhere. When legal services, the lawyer I have is fantastic. Um, he has decided that we're gonna vacate my record and that way I can work with kids that are out there on the streets being used and abused and using and abusing themselves. My goal is to open up a, a place where I can go out and reach them kids because everybody needs to know they're loved. And I didn't know that for so many years. And um, I'm really, really grateful that I'm gonna have that opportunity.